What's up, everybody? It's your boy to give you guys a review for The Real Households of Potomac. This is the reunion part two. I, I had to make myself some tea for this shit because uh, it's already starting to fucking blow my eyes. So I'm going to give you what I can. So it picks back up with Katie and Robin. These two are like at each other's net. It's kind of going back and forth. And the one thing I will say is I can see why Robin got upset because it was because like I said, the way they tried to portray it last week, it didn't really happen like that. But it's Robin trying to articulate a point. And <clears throat> you have Katie, who all of a sudden has these balls now. Because, again, she was not this vocal this entire season. She stood up one time to Giselle, and that was it. So she is constantly cutting her off, and that is what is upsetting uh, Robin. And it wasn't just her she was doing it to. She was doing it to a lot of people. Katie is one of those where it's just like, I mean, you know, you can let someone talk. And, I mean, we all do it, but it comes time where you just sit there, you let a person talk. And, I mean, you can clearly tell a fool because a fool is a person that talks a whole lot and talks too much. And, eventually, they will trap themselves with their own tongue. A little bit of wisdom for y'all asses. But, you know... Right, my whole thing is I was just asking a question. I was not trying to be malicious. Like I said, I grew, I grew up around various people, and for some people that are mixed, you know, it has been an issue for them and the whole identifying. So that is why she was asking. And it's just like, okay, I'm glad that that fucking thing is dead. And we finally get to Sharice, and, uh, you know, they're talking about her marriage with Eddie and... Um, Apparently, Eddie was let go of his current job, and, you know, Andy is really trying to ask her, like, are you getting a divorce? Are y'all still together? He moved back in, and she's tiptoeing all the way around. He's asking her, okay, are you going to get divorced? She's like, if I do, it's not going to be my choice, and it's just like, you're doing way too much. Doing way, way too much, and it's one of those where we already know that this show has been renewed for a second season. Being all ambiguous like this is probably not going to help you get your ass back on the season two. Which, I mean, shit, I could have did without her ass this motherfucking season. Because if I don't know you, then you're not worth knowing. Okay. And, I mean, you know, there was the whole back and forth. People being called irrelevant. This, that, and the motherfucking third. It's whatever. I forgot to mention that after Katie and Robin made up, Katie was just like, I don't even know why I'm going off with you. Because I probably should direct all the things to the one person that is meant to be towards which was Giselle and that right there goes show you it's like if you're truly mad at Giselle be mad at Giselle don't sit here and you know try to take some of your ammunition and throw it at Robin because I guess she thought that okay I can pull with Robin and I'm kind of looking at it like Robin is probably not the one to fight with her words she fight with her hands and I'm kind of looking like okay she catch your ass out of this movie out of this reunion you go catch a motherfucking fade but I'll be back all right so I think the only thing that I'm going to talk about from this last part is the whole Katie and Andrew thing. So they had been broken up for like, I guess the past three months and get on their way there, I guess she was hounding him. Like, do you really want to uh, be married to me? You know, he tap dancing around a motherfucking uh, situation and she takes off the ring and she gives it back to him. And, I mean, it's one of those where it's like, I don't seem, like, I'm not shocked by this by any fucking means, but, I don't know. Like, I, I, I really just don't know how to feel. It's like, it's, I'm, I'm really trying to, I, I, I don't know what the fuck to make of it. I don't, because it's just like, I believe him when he said, had you not fucking pressured me about this, we probably would have already been engaged and been married. And it's the fact that you are constantly pushing, you're constantly pushing. It's one of those where it's just like, you know, I get it. You're like, you're on a fucking time crunch. Shit. I'm on a fucking time crunch. I'm 29. No wife, no kids. I'll be 30 at the end of this motherfucking year. But even if I start dating somebody, it's not going to be one of those, so we're going to get married. We're going to get married. Like, it's like I'm not going to fucking do that. And on some real shit, if I don't see us having something, I'm finna cut the shit off right then. Now, me being a male, yeah, it's up to me to sit here and take that plunge, but if he has not even moved towards that, he probably ain't the one, and the fact that you were dumb enough to not only open up your body, but open up your heart and your home and let him get so close to your kids that now you're tr finding it hard to explain to him where the fuck he is, that's a dumb mistake on your motherfucking ass. It's one of those where I, I, no pity. No fucking pity. You feel what I'm saying? Like, shit, if, like, 
I've come to realize, you know, chances are if I get with somebody, more than likely she's going to have kids at this stage of the game. But it's one of those where I don't want to meet your kids right the fuck off. And if you're so willing to show me your kids off real, I probably need to fucking be with your ass because that right there lets me know that if you let me see your kids this early in advance, you probably let other dudes see your kids. Nah, ain't about that life. I'm just saying. All other shit, not really relevant. Just wanted to talk about that. Okay, it's official. I fucking love Michael. All right, oh, some real shit. <laughs> oh man, like if I could literally like if if I would get if I wouldn't get hit with like a copyright infringement, I would love for y'all to just watch me watch the reunion just so y'all can just see my natural fucking reactions. Man, Michael, Michael, that dude. I oh okay. All right, so the man out there, you know, it's just one of those main things where um, they're talking about uh, him showing up to the house and his whole thing. And Ashley's even saying it's his house. I'm not going to not say that he can't come. And he came on the last fucking night. Y'all blew the shit out of proportion. And you can see on some real shit, I'm going to keep it 1,000. Ray had a motherfucking battery in his back, and I loved how Michael called his ass out about, and if y'all can see, I have a big-ass pimple right there. Like, that shit is red as fuck. Yeah, I was mentioning, mentioning that. But, um, you know, he even mentions how it seemed as if when we were out there, you were saying to me what somebody told you to say. And I sat back just like, if he didn't hit that motherfucking shit on the motherfucking head... I don't know if I said that in my review, but if I did, I wish I would have. Because that's exactly how the fuck I felt that, you know, fucking Karen told him, this is how I feel, so this is how we feel. You know what I'm saying? And it was one of those where Karen is coming for Michael, but when Michael comes for that ass, don't come for me. Are you wearing the dress? It's one of those where, again, yeah, men should not argue women, but at the same exact time, all of y'all are, are in the same exact motherfucking room, and you sitting here talking about him coming at him, and then coming at his motherfucking wife and whatnot. Ah, and Michael said this shit like, "Look, man, I grabbed a man ass, you know, and you would not fare well in Australia." And I'm glad that he said that. And here's why I'm saying this: I think my time in Korea has changed me, and you know, it's just one of those ways. It's like, like I'm a free spirit in general, but. When I first got to Korea and during reception, we were told it's like, understand the culture. Like, you'll see men holding other men's hands. It's not gay. It's just part of the culture. You might see another man kiss another man. It's not gay. It's just part of the culture. You know what I'm saying? And that's just it. And, I mean, it was one of those things where it's like, you know, you see a lot of things. I and mean, it was one of those I'm like, wow, this is bad fucking crazy because I'm not used to this shit in fucking America. But it was just like, you know what? Hey, this is what they do. If they like it, I love it. So it's one of those where, yes, being over here, you see a certain thing, you think a certain way. You go to other parts of the world, it's not fucking like that. And, again, for certain people who have only been in one place and being fucking one-dimensional about shit, my whole thing is it wasn't that big of a deal. Andrew wasn't fucking tripping. It is what it is. And you got Ray talking about something. I would have popped him in his mouth. I'm looking at Ray like, bruh, bruh, I, I don't think you got that motherfucking mobility in your ass. I'm just saying this shit was fucking funny, all right? And I'm probably going to play this shit back several times, just that part, because I was so here for the motherfucking shades and the reads. All right, now, uh, don't get mad at me, but ain't shit really happened on this last part, y'all. Ain't, ain't shit really happened. I'm trying to remember what the fuck. Ain't shit really happened. Can I just take a minute out and just be selfish? Like, I'm so fucking proud of myself. Like, a motherfucker is wearing a large right now, y'all. I, I am wearing a motherfucker. Do y'all see this shit? I'm wearing a mother... Bitch, I'm wearing a motherfucker large up in this motherfucker, okay? I'm starting to feel out of you. Hey! Hey, I'm telling y'all that dirty 30, baby. That's gonna be my shit. Okay, oh, I, I, I cannot wait. When I finally get this body all nice, right, and tight, this shit is, is going down. Talking about I'm gonna bring in my motherfucking 30s like a motherfucking G. Shit, you never know shit. I might actually be booed up. Shit, <laughs> if I keep this shit up, I'm just saying. I know this ain't got shit to do with the review, but fuck it. They talk about narcissists and shit. I'm gonna be a motherfucking narcissist right now. Y'all know I love me some me. I'm sorry. That was, yeah. All right, whatever. Okay, so we, we we still not really getting much of anything. Before I talk about what the fuck I saw, if y'all, I want y'all to go back and watch this, okay? You know how when some people talk how 
their mouths automatically like I guess default to a certain way. Like as soon as I talk, you'll see like you'll see the, this right here in terms of my teeth. When fucking Katie talks, she gives us like that little chip my thing. Like with your, <laughs> I know I should not talk about people, and I know I'm wrong. Y'all watch the shit back and tell me y'all fucking see it. Tell me I'm fucking wrong, cause I ain't wrong. I ain't wrong, but you know they going back and forth and shit. You know, being cat ass, what the fuck happens and shit. And <clears throat> it's a whole lot of Giselle versus Katie, I, and it's it's pretty much at the point right now where you know <clears throat> they're being catty for no reason. Real talk, we could like they really could have gave us one hour, no commercials last week, and we would have been good. We would have been done, but. They're going back and forth, uh, and <clears throat> it got to a point where, you know, because they're talking about, uh, you know, things being edited out, and just, it's just like, do we want to talk about shit that's been edited out? And right there, you kind of, you saw Katie kind of like, because she didn't want to talk about this shit. I'm just like, and I'm sitting here like, oh, now, I, I would do some shit like that. I've been guilty of sitting here with a, with a Trump card in my back pocket, like, do we really want to talk about this motherfucker? And it's one of those ones when you do it, you doing it because you try to let that motherfucker know. It's like, bitch, say one more damn thing. I got you. But then to everybody that's around, they just like, wait, what is it? Let me, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's kind of how I feel that y'all feel that way. But then, you know, because um, like I said, Katie definitely has an issue with Giselle. And somebody had even said, seeing as how y'all have similar stories of having, you know, three kids, this, that, and the third, being divorced, how y'all could have <clears throat> connected. <clears throat> it didn't quite work out that way. And, you know, Katie decided she wanted to try to go in, talk about somehow, you know, she was fucking in the lobby and whatnot. They're recalling the whole Giselle drinking of the tea and shit and all this other stuff. <clears throat> and um, what, uh, Katie was just like, well, you crapped yourself. So and once she said that, Giselle was like, uh, so did you not piss on the, on the couch during the promotion of the shoot? Now they want to sit here. She was like, "Well, I had three kids, so I laughed at little squirt." And, and it's just like, oh, it was just one of those where you know what? Just take that L. Just take that L. But they ain't got no fucking sense and no cooth. All right, shit's over, y'all. Shit's over. We done, bitches. We done. And then they do the motherfucking wrap up, and uh, Sharice want to sit here and say, "Oh, uh, my husband isn't talking to me. He hasn't talked to me since the show. He just has." It's one of those where on some real shit. That was her way of, I guess, trying to, I guess, try to solidify a storyline for the next season. Newsflash: nobody fucking cares. Or maybe it's just me. I don't know. But that's all I got, y'all. We to wrap this shit up. I'm going to do my damnest to get my peoples, and hopefully sometime this week, we all can uh, get on Blab. I'm going to try, especially with how crazy my... Fuck. I got 24 hours to do this fucking weekend. Damn it. I'm going to try to put something together for y'all asses, okay? Where we all can just come on, and we can talk about all the shows that I'm wrapped up with. Now, I will try. Do not hold me to it. I didn't get through my whole drink, but I'm going to say the rest of this for Shot Sunset, which is on right now. So, thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys, well, for Shot Sunset, because uh, Potomac is now over. Peace.